sweetheart, I am really serious about it. You're just so funny. Stop it. We have been chatting and talking over the phone for four weeks now. Yes, baby. <laughs> All right, if you say so. But I really need to see you personally. Like, I want to see you one-on-one. -on -one. Why not? I am dying to meet you. Same here, honey. You know what? I have actually been waiting for you to invite me. But I have just done so. And I say yes. You know what? I'll be with you a day after tomorrow. Okay. This is certainly the best news I've heard in ages. I can't wait to see you. So, talk to you later. Okay? Alright then. Bye. Sister, you're madly in love. I'm sure he's that guy. Shut up. Get out. What's your business with that? Okay. Huh? I'm minding mind my business. business. But I know you love her here, though. Whatever. Sorry, the number is number 10. Don't worry, you see us now. I love you very much. Love you.
show here in the right place. Okay. Yeah? This is her thing. She's saying this is real hard. Please come in. Hello, Mandy. Good afternoon. And are you Mr. Charles? Yes, my love. I'm Charles. In flesh and blood. Please do make yourselves comfortable, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, sweetheart, why don't you sit down so I can offer you something? Hey, hey, hey. What did I just hear you? Call me. Uh, are you not my sweetheart anymore? Hey, and don't ever use that word on me again. God. Babes. Is everything okay? Uh, is there an issue? I, I, I don't get, did I do something? And why are you sitting there? Who asked you to sit up? Take your miserable self out of that chair. Whoops, let's get out of here. Get out! Monday. Get out! Get out! Monday. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! So what's the issue here? Well, it wasn't that you were trying to go for me. Let's get out of here. This is unfair. My friend is giving me. Let's get out. Because I, I I don't even know what to say. What's your honey? What's your honey? Stop that! I said don't call my number again. Sis, you have to calm down, please. Just calm down. Hello? I have done wrong. Just tell me. I can see you don't want to listen to me. Right? Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Hottest chick in town. Oh, please. <laughs> come, 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 I beg. I want to hear the gist. <laughs> My ears are itching. I can't wait. I can't just wait. Don't me. Just hold on. Let me get this shit. Okay. Chair. So come, 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 come. Why is your face like this? Nothing much. Come. Don't tell me you didn't go to see that guy I told you. Because my ears are itchy. I don't forget that guy. Why? Hey. You know, this world is full of surprises. With the type of shock I received today, I couldn't just believe it. What happened? <sighs> Please. I never knew that I've been chatting and dating the wrong person on phone all this while. I mean, the guy I cherish so much and I've been dying to meet is a crippled man in a wheelchair. God! Are you kidding me? I wish I could be kidding you with issues like this, but that's the truth. And to crown it all, the guy is very poor. And easy, I babe, easy, babe. Let's get something straight here. Is it that the guy is a cripple or that he is poor? I mean, the guy is a crippled and also a disabled. And he's even poor and wretched and... <sighs> but I thought you told me that he was a handsome guy. Anyway, officially, he is. But babes, that guy is not someone I would want to have anything to do with. No! You, you don't expect me to, to, to have something to do with, with a cripple man and, and someone who is poor? Babe, I, I won't, too. I won't. Doesn't he have a prospect? I mean, something to look forward to in a guy in the future. I hear you. Babe, that guy's future is doomed. Doomed as far as I'm concerned. No, 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 Mandy, no. No guy's future is doomed. And as a matter of fact, I remember you told me that he is a journalist or something. I believe you could still make something out of his life if you ask me. And you think I have that type of time to waste on a guy? Hmm? Is that what you think? What of girls who get ready-made guys? Are they not girls of my type? Mandy, you were singing praise of this guy to me. Take things easy. Hey, please just forget that matter. Let's say something else. Anyway, just call me. Let me offer you something. God. What are you still doing there? You want to sit down there? Hello. Hello? Charles Daniels on the line. Good day, sir. Good day. It's Eve. Eve. Um, I can't seem to remember if I've had any dealings with Eve. Can you please explain yourself? Oh, it's Mandy's sister. We came to your house the other day. Oh. 
least one of you called. Um, how is my... How is Mandy doing? See, she doesn't know about this call. I called you on my own. I just want to apologize on her behalf. The way she treated it the other day. I felt so bad. Please forgive her. It's okay. There's no need for apologies. Well, I am just, you know, worried as to what the matter is or what I may have done to anger her. Eve, uh, you're the sister and I believe she may have told you what I did. Can you please relate that to me so I don't do it in future? You know my sister is a very difficult lady to deal with. But don't worry, she'll come around so you guys can continue your love. I just wish she could come around soon enough. I am dying to hear from her. I really want to hear her voice again. It's okay. Just relax your mind, okay? She'll come around. Uh, but for now, don't call her number yet, please. She's still obsessed with you. Fair enough. But can I at least call your number instead? I'm not sure. I have to go now. Bye. And who was that you were talking with on the phone? Um, this is my friend. Hello? Hello? Boyfriend? No! Why are you acting as if you don't have one? I don't have a boyfriend. Yes? Who? Oh. oh, it's Mr. Charles. How do you do? Why did you call? I called because I haven't heard from you all this while. Any news from your sister? No, not at all. Just even want to talk about it. Well, what should I do now? Should I call her again? No, no, please don't do that. I know my sister. She won't even take it likely we are. It's okay. But I, I was thinking that I can... Listen, Mr. Charles. Please, I beg you, stop calling me. I don't want my sister to find out because she won't take it lightly with me. Okay, please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I can't help you. I wish you the best of luck. Bye. Stop calling me. Please. You just have to stop. I don't want to have issues with my sister. Please. I promise you won't have issues with your sister. I, I can't help it. I am all here by myself. No one to talk to. No one to share my fears or my happiness with. Your sister just left me without... Without no, no, no just cause. No, 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 please, I, 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 I beg you, just wait, just wait. Um, don't, um, don't abort the call yet. Um, can I ask you for a favor, please? What favor? Can you please come over to the house? 
I, I want us to discuss. It is not possible, Mr. Charles. It is not possible. Just forget it. It's not possible. Stop calling me, I beg you. Please. Do that. Okay, I will try. I've heard you. Okay, bye. All right then. And who was that? No, my colleague. She wants me to do something for her. It's nothing serious. Okay, um, you have to come go to the market because we have to prepare food. All right then, I'll be there. Don't keep me waiting. No, I'm... God, Mr. Charles, you won't put me into trouble. You're welcome. Thank you. No, I didn't think you were going to be able to make it. But I told you I was going to come, didn't I? Well... You said so, but, um, you see... Okay, so what do you want us to talk about? Why don't you sit down first, please? Okay, thank you. So, what do I offer you? Oh, nothing. I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. I'm okay. Don't bother. Okay, if you say so. So, how is your sister? She's fine, but please, I wouldn't want her to know I'm here. Who's going to tell her? You? No. She won't hear from me either. After all, she doesn't even take my calls. Oh. Your sister, she seems to be very difficult. But I told you she's difficult. Well, I live with her, so I'm really used to it. I am interested in finding out what my offense was the other day. She didn't tell me either. Are you serious? Yeah, she didn't tell. She didn't even want to talk about it. So I don't know. Okay. You see, I am of the school of thought that relationship is based on love. Mm -hmm. And then every other thing would follow. That I am on a wheelchair today doesn't mean I'm deformed. The doctors have certified and confirmed that I'm fit to reproduce. Then again, I don't think I'll be a liability to anyone because I have this little write-up I do on Skins magazine and it puts food on my table. So you mean you're a writer with Skins magazine? Yes, I write for Skims and I have a column called Chances. <laughs> so, it's you, Charles the Schemer. Charles the Schemer, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's such a small word. Exactly. Oh God, do you know I love those stories? Like, I don't miss it. Like, every week I make sure I buy it. Wow, Charles is came out. <laughs> Both are complimentary copies over there. You can take a look for yourself. Okay, thank you. I sure would. Like, Charles is came out. I just can't believe this. Can I have some coffee? I want to take them home, please. Well, if you want to. Thank you so much. <sighs>
so you're still awake? Yes, yeah, girl. <laughs> you won't kill me without this place. I wonder how you come about with this hotel. Well, I... I guess it's a gift from God. Mm, I can see. That's a very rare one. The stories are very fantastic. You flatter me a lot. I am not flattering you. I'm for real. I'm serious. Thank you all the same. You're welcome. By the way, what are you still doing a week? No, I'm not. I am... Um, I'm here busy brainstorming on the next beautiful story to write so that people like you can be happy for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have no idea how many people you put smiles on their faces every week. Thank you. Mm hmm Eve? Can I ask you for a favor, please? Sure. Go ahead. Would you please come over to the house and help me with some of the chores on the house? Please? Uh, I thought we agreed I won't come to your place again. I know we agreed, but what are friends for? I know, but... Okay, you know what? I'm going to come. But this should be the last time, please. Don't ask me again. Yeah. Um, do me a favor. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I need you to go to bed now and have some rest, okay? I wouldn't want you to break down, okay? All right, if you say so. You're welcome. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, good night. Fast? Yes. So, what's the right writing this time? Hmm. You really want to know? Yes, I want to know. Oh, I don't want to know. I want to read it fresh when it's released. Okay then. Um, Eve, I am. I I am really hungry, and I'm not sure there are food items in the house. Do you mind going to the market to get some for me? It's okay. I can still go to the market. There's still time. So what do you want me to cook for you? Well, I don't mind um, a ban. Very good soup. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Here. Okay. A thousand five hundred? Uh, yes, that's what I have. This can barely make a pot of soup now. Uh, please man it with me. I don't have any other money with me here. Besides, I don't even have money to give to you for transport. <laughs> it's really difficult, but I think I just have to make okra soup. Okra soup? I think I will just buy fish, no meat. Do you have like two million so I can order up to buy? You know what, don't worry, don't worry. I can manage, all right? Let me run along before you get late. I'll be back. Okay. Let me drop this inside. I'm coming. Oh. Hey. Good morning. Wow, good morning. What a pleasant surprise. I know you're surprised to see me. Yes, I am. So what brings you here? 
I came to help you with the washing and the cleaning. I hope you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. Really fascinating. Where are you coming from by this time of the night? So I want to speak to a friend. And you're just coming back now? This is just past 7 p.m. And so? Uh, what happened to your face? Eh? This is, it's nothing. 
What do you mean by nothing? God, what happened to your face? Eh? Since I just hit my face on the wall. Come back here, come back here before I hit you. I'm talking to you and you're trying to walk out on me. What happened to your face? It's a small thing. I'm fine. to me. Immediately you told me you hit your face on the wall. How could you leave? How could you? God, I am your elder sister. I am like a mother to you in this city. Hey? You know what? I can see you are all grown up now. And you can be able to stay on your own. So I want you to pack your things. First thing tomorrow morning, you are leaving my house. Sister, please. Please forgive me. I didn't want God into me, please. Who did this to you, Eve? <laughs> A man did this to you, right? <laughs> who's that man? <laughs> I said, who's that man? <laughs> Mr. Charles. <laughs> I don't know. Charles. Charles, which Charles are we talking about here? I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So my younger sister had the guts, the audacity, the infantry to go to that crippled man's house and allow him bitter like that. God! Jesus. Girl, I have told you to take things easy. I would not. Liz, why should I? Eh? I would make sure that guy sleeps in jail for hitting, hitting her like that. You just need to see her face. Don't get yourself all worked up over this matter. Besides, you don't even know what transpired between them. Ha. After all, your younger sister is no longer a kiddo. But he has no right to touch her that way. Anyway, I think I know what to do. I think you should blame your younger sister, not the man. After all, she was the one that went there in the first place. He didn't force her. Hmm? How does Jig in town? The sweetest girl in the world. Smile now. I promise you. <laughs>
sorry about all I have done. It was a terrible mistake, please. Please, I regret my actions. I shouldn't have done what I did. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Can I see the wound? Okay. Let me give you some money so you can go to the pharmacy, get some medication and ointment so I can help you massage it. so hard so he doesn't burn. I am very sorry. It's okay, I'm fine now. Have you completely forgiven me? Yes, I have. But my sister knows about it. She literally forced it out of my mouth. She threatened to send me back if I don't tell her who hit me. And she also threatened to call the police to arrest you if I ever set my eyes on you. I regret my actions. It was a terrible, terrible mistake. I promise you, it will never repeat itself. It's okay. Don't bother yourself. So, have you eaten? You know, I was so worried sick that you were not taking my calls. I forgot to eat. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So, I will get you something to eat now, right? Okay? Uh huh. Thank you. And that was how I sustained this injury. I found myself confined to this wheelchair. So what happened to the that hit you? It was a hit and run. Nobody ever saw him till then. for the help of a good Nigerian who took me to the hospital. I will not be alive today. Did you cry? No. It's just a pathetic story. I guess I shouldn't have told you that. No. You could have told me how this happened. But don't worry. You'll work again. Okay? You think so? I know so. I know so. Just trust him.
Mm. Yes. Mm. Can I ask you for a favor, please? What favor? Can I use your phone for at least a few days? That's really difficult. What do you want to do with it? Well, you see, I, I've been given the deadline to submit my write-up for next week edition. But my phone and desktop crashed and it will not be ready until another two weeks. Uh, now, the problem is that if I don't submit this write-up, I will not be able to get my pay. But this is the only phone I have for now. All my documents. And then again, I went for this job interview. I've been expecting their email. I don't know what to do. But well, the problem now is that how do I get some money? The money owed me in areas. Even the money I'm supposed to be expecting from this right now, I don't know how do I get this money. You know what? Okay. You can have the phone. Alright? I just set myself out. Are you sure about it? Just, just have it. Okay, just have it. I can sort myself out. Yeah. I can have it. Thank you. your phone. I need to check something. Mine ran out of data. Oh, my phone is not here. I don't understand. How do you know? Have you lost it or something? No. I gave it to a friend. Yes. A friend. A friend? Okay. Which friend are we talking about? See, she don't know the person. Eve, I know you too well. You don't expect me to believe you gave your phone to just a friend. Huh? Which friend are we talking about? Since I already told you, you don't know the person. Eve, how could you? So you gave your phone to that riffraff? Some madman! Huh? What is happening here? God! Have you gone insane? Have you lost your mind? Eh? You're still seeing the same man I warned you about. God. Okay. You know what? I am now convinced that you are insane. And I will make sure I arrest that man now and prosecute him for four one night. Because that's exactly who he is. She should do no such thing. Like he's innocent. I give the phone to him. I guess you know me too well. That's exactly what I told you. I told you not to see that detail. Didn't I? Eh? That guy must languish in jail. Since please don't arrest Charles, please. Please forgive him. But I told you not to see that disabled man again. Didn't I? Eh? I must jail that guy today. Of course, you know the area commander does anything I tell him. <laughs> please, sis, just forgive me for my sake, please. <laughs> you know he doesn't have anybody to take care of him. You would die if you do this. Eh? Of course I don't care. I don't give a hoot about him. He can die for all I care. That guy must be jailed. I give you an instruction, but you disobeyed me. <laughs> Since I love him. Don't 
बिताई जैसी है I will never fail to advise you to do what is right. If I were you, I would leave Eve to her fate with that guy. Since you've warned, advised, and even threatened her, yet she still sees him. There is no point anymore. Just let them be. And I will never let them be. See, I am like a mother to my sister in this town. I wouldn't sit back with my eyes wide open and watch her walk into the hands of that wretched and disabled man. God forbid! But she told you that she loves him so much. Why are you trying to stop them? And what kind of, of stupid love is that? Eh? How can she even love such a creation? Hmm? Look, if it is medicine that he's using on her, it will not work. Oh, because the area commander's boys are so going to beat him very well that he will be forced to confess all his evil deeds. Bet me. Please, I don't even have that time to talk about this rubbish. I have to go. I have a lot of things to do inside. It's okay. Take See you it later. Easy. Okay. Take it easy, okay? Take this easy, okay? sister said all that. She didn't just say it. She meant every word she said last night. I don't want anything to happen to you. Let me just stay away from me. I beg you in the name of God. Eve, I can't believe the words that you are uttering from that your mouth. How can you say a thing like this? I can handle us. I can handle Mandy. I love you. That's why I want to stay away from you. You don't love me. What you do is pity me. You would understand. She has done it before. The guy did not survive the torture. He even had to go back to the village. Two years later, he died.
the matter with you? Please talk to me. Shall I take you to the hospital? Talk to me, Charles, please. I beg of you. My tummy. Your tummy? My tummy hurts. You mean you haven't eaten since morning? No, I haven't. You know what? Let me just go get you something to eat, please. Be right back. Quickly rush to get you something to eat so I can take you to the hospital. No. I don't want to go to the hospital. Why? Because I don't even have a dime on me. Don't worry, I can spend some money. My sister gave me money to buy foodstuffs for the house. But your life is more important. Sister, don't you think don't she... worry about it. Let me take care of you first. Why okay. smiling? Okay. What do you mean by that? I just wanted you to come around. You mean all this is just pretense? Yeah. I have missed you very much. And I could not wait one more day without having you by my side. I'm very sorry, dear. I'm very sorry I stayed away from you. I've missed you so much. So very much. <laughs> Accompany me somewhere. Where? To go see a friend. Oh, so how are we going? I just called the cab guy. He should be here anytime soon. Okay. Well, I'm okay like this, yeah? Yeah, sure. You look very good. Okay, let me get my bag there. All right then.
Thanks, please. Yeah, it's me. Um, John, don't bother, okay? I'll come down here. She lost my appetite. I think I need an explanation now. I'm really, really very confused. It's like I'm in a dream world. Okay. I'll tell you everything. I was born into a wealthy and influential family. Life has always been rosy for me. I have never experienced suffering nor lacked anything all the days of my life. And when I say I haven't lacked, I mean women inclusive. I met the rich, I met the cream de la cream, I met beautiful, luscious women. But I never knew true love and happiness. All they wanted was just my name and what they tend to gain from my background. All those women I had dealings with had also something to do with other men. And these men were either my relations or my colleagues at work. And this left me in sadness. That was why I came up with that thought of renting that small, unattractive apartment just so I can hide my true identity. I had to act in an unusual way to get the result that I needed. I want my wife to love me for who I am and not for material things. And in order to do that, I decided that I am going to put her through a series of tests just to make sure that she's the main person for me. You mean I was put to test? Yes. And you proved to me that you are the woman meant for me. You did not only pass the test, you won the trophy. You have all the qualities that I need in a woman. You challenged me with your dexterity your life devotion, your homeliness, most of all your sacrifice for love. I mean, what more can a man ask for? You are not just my dream wife, but you are a wife that every man would die to have. 
and that is why I say with two million. That check is for shopping. That is way too much. Look, you deserve this and even more. Nothing is too much for you. But baby, I... This is your car key. There's a car outside and a driver standing by for you. He will take you wherever you want to go to until you're properly schooled in driving. A car for me? Yes. A car for you. Charles. It's Charles. Charles. Which Charles? The Charles you know. And how many times have I told you not to mention that church rat's name again in this house? Eh? Church rat you mean? Since that guy is not who you think he is. He is the son of a billionaire. He is loaded with money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know that you're really dreaming. Yes. This is not a dream, sis. Okay, hold on. Let me show you something. Sis, he gave me this check. Tick. Tick. For my shopping. This is two million naira. No. No, it's a lie. It is not a lie. He's the son of Chief Otumba Daniels, the owner of Citibank, Skin Magazine, Oil and Gas Companies, I mean, and so many others. Sis, if you see this guy's mansion, 
I'm not explaining this thing very well. He even gave me a driver to start with. And guess what? My wedding is in three weeks' time. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? You have to take me to that is um, so-called mansion. Like, I really want to be part of this dream. Rubbish. Oh, yeah. Take your check. You still don't believe me. Charles, that me, I know. I'll take you there. Charles. So you can see for yourself. Till then. Sister, what I do with my check? Shut up! I need to go to the bank to catch it myself. And I have to go to the bank to catch it myself. How am I not sure it's a fake one? I just hope it doesn't bounce. Welcome. I just cashed the check. I told you the check won't bounce, didn't I? Charles is for real. Anyway, this is part of the money I got. What happened to the rest of the money? Shut up. And she's giving me this. I don't think I'm gonna get But baby... Don't baby me. Stop it. Else I will call the security men in here and they will bundle you out of this premises. Darling... Don't darling me. Okay, okay. Is it because of that um, little misunderstanding we had back then? Huh? All right. I'm sorry. Please. I said I'm sorry. You know, it's characters like you that make a mockery of life. Because you cannot differentiate between love and lust. It is ladies like you that give other virtuous and deserving ladies a bad name because of your love for material things. Listen to me. Love is a beautiful thing. Love supersedes all. Love is supposed to be shared amongst men and women. Love is not Above all, love is sacrifice. That is what your sister here has put to me. She's shown me that her love is real and not for our friends. You know, I thank God for the wisdom to act the way I acted. If not, I would have married the wrong woman.
I regretted it all my life. Thank God you came to my life when I needed you the most. I am nothing without you. You don't seem to understand me. There are procedures in Pistols International. We follow procedures. Don't you understand what? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to talk to the HR and then he will see what he can do about it. Right now, I cannot do anything. Yeah. Um, look, see what's going to happen. Can I call you back later, please? Yes. David, it's a weekend, remember. All right, I'm supposed to be with my family. Yes, I'll call you back. Hmm? All right then, bye. Hey, hey, baby. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Are you really sure? So, um, guess what? What? Just take it. Take a wild guess. Okay, I can guess. Trust come me. Come on, come on. Okay, try. let me try. Uh, I can guess. <laughs> okay. Chief. Otumba Daniels mm -hmm. wants to see you. Are you for real? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Are you ready to meet him? I'm so excited. You're excited, right? All right, all right. So just sit down. I am going to freshen up mm -hmm. and I'll come back and see you. All right then. Just take a seat. Thank good. you. You look good. Mm -hmm. All right, go. This one. This one. Okay, okay. Mm. Just right, go. Right, take care. It's not possible, Lisa. It's not. How can you even say a thing like that? Mandy. Mandy. Remember how you castigated this same guy? Hmm? Think about all the unprincipled things you said about him. Now you turn back and want the same guy, same guy to marry you. Are you dreaming? I was the first to date him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. The fact still remains that you never wanted this guy. Your sister wanted him and... See, if he does not marry me, he can never marry my sister. Instead, let the both of us lose out. This is wickedness. Let this guy to do what he wants to do. After all, it is still the same family. If he marries your sister or he marries you, it is still the same family. No! It's never the same thing. See, Charles just has to marry me. Or, or what? What will you do to him? Hmm? Oh. Call the area commander's boys for him, right? <laughs> Mandy. I expect you to be matured in this case. Leave this guy and your sister alone. Let them be. This is the last advice I will give to you as a friend. Take it all, leave it. Thank you. Just thank you. Who no, said I didn't tell you? This is okay. Okay? Your old man will come. What is okay? Tell me what is okay? Eh? The fact that you went and snatched my man? What is okay? Sis, you Shut up if I do something terrible to you. Slut. Prostitute. God! You know you're so wicked. 
you that I bought out of the village, from that you wretched life, down to the city. And now you had the gods to treat me like this. You know, Nemesis will catch up with you. Shut <laughs> up! Let me tell you something. That's your marriage with Charles will never hold unless I am dead. Yes! Charles is going to marry me or no one else. So you better readdress your mind on it. Get out! I've heard it all, but this is not what two of you should quarrel about. Why should you? Uncle Mandy started it. Mandy, marriage is not by force. You can't force a man to do what he doesn't want to do. Let us welcome this good thing that wants to come into our family. Any of you that this man gets married to is good for us. Our family will be better. And I'll be an in-law to one of the richest men in this country. Please, Mandy, take it easy and let peace reign. Uncle, well, I was the first lady he came from. I mean, is it because of that little misunderstanding we had? Since this man is in love with your younger sister and she is the one he wants to marry, let her marry. Your own husband will come. Uncle. That's okay. Just do what I said. I don't want to hear about this again except the wedding. All right? Thank <laughs> you. 